So as many of you know by now, Alchemy Stars is about to have our first collab with Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. And as such, we can expect things like a collab exclusive event, we've got some collab exclusive units, and so forth. And so in this video, I wanted to talk about a few of the different things that we have been seeing. So they've released a couple of teasers as to who will be part of the collab. And then I want to talk about A, some speculation, but also B, some ways that you can prepare for this collab itself. Hi, welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace, and today we are going to be talking about the Dragon Maid collab, as well as preparing preparing for it and looking at some of the material, making some inferences from the Dragon Maid existing characters, and just all in all giving you guys some context as to what exactly is about to go on in about 5 days from now. And so to kick things off, I have a video here from the Twitter account of Alchemy Stars EN, and what we have here is the reveal of the VAs for all of the different characters that we can expect. And so what that means is that each of these characters are probably going to be coming up featured in our Dragon Maid collab. And so to kick things off, we have Toru over here again. Sorry for the no volume, but you guys already know why. And then after that, we are going to have Kana, who was actually revealed today. Then after that, we have, I believe, Elma. No, we have Lukoa, who is also known as Quetzalcoatl. And then after this, maybe it's Elma. Yep, so we've got Elma over here. You can see their color themes, which are going to be very, very important to what we're going to infer about about their elements and stuff like that. So Elma with the blue and then back over here we got Kana with the pink which actually doesn't really help and then we had Toru with the green which also doesn't really help. So green, pink, okay you know what it doesn't help at all you know don't worry about it don't worry about this at all. So we've got Lukoa and then we've got Elma and then lastly we are going to have Fafnir. And so that's essentially all five of the characters that are going to be appearing in the Dragon Maid collab. However, with all of that being said, especially if you don't watch Dragon Maid, I'm going to go through each of the characters and kind of like provide some speculation as to the elements and what they could be. So first of all, let me show you guys the characters that we do know something about. Here we have Toru who will be a six star as you can see over here and she has been revealed to be a dual fire element. On top of that, she is also shown to be part of the independent world faction and I suspect like all of the collabs or all of the units that are kind of outside of those core factions you know like Lumopolis, We Diesel Ranch and etc they're probably all going to end up in the independent world. And so that's Toru with her fire element as you can see she does have the fire around her it's pretty telling as to like what she is going to be. However guessing their archetypes is going to be a little bit harder considering all of these characters are actually dragons. And when I think of dragons I think think of detonator like surely not freaking snipers right so honestly in that regard in terms of like their classes you guys need to let me know because like I have only done some light reading into these characters if there is anything in terms of their character profiles that tell us whether they're more predisposed to be like supports or detonators or whatever then do let me know down in the comments below but back to the topic at hand we have Toru again six star double fire and so moving on we have Kana revealed in the last hour or so Kana is actually another fan favorite so it is not surprising that she turned out to be a six star and as you can see from her illustration there are a lot of electrical particle effects around her and if I come over to this guy over here this is just the dragon maid wiki and if I come down to this one over here her powers and ability you can see that Kana generates electricity and so as a result it was pretty easy to guess that Kana is going to be part of the thunder element and going by the logic that was revealed with the Toru release like how Toru is going to be fire fire. I do think that Kana is going to be thunder thunder and the rest of them are going to be mono element. And so for all of you Kana enjoyers, hopefully this has hyped you up. Like getting a six star unit of your favorite typically is going to hype you all the way to the moon. For me personally, out of all of the different characters, I'm actually a bigger fan of Toru and seeing her as a fire six star, I'm already, I'm freaking going all in my dudes. And so that is where the facts are going to stop. So we are going into speculation zone from here on out. After Kana, we saw Quetzalcoatl aka Lukoa, so it's this lady over here. And so just a brief look at her, like, uh, <laughs> uh, let's move on. So just looking at her true form, like this over here, as well as some of her abilities, I think it's, it's a little bit hard to tell what she's going to be, but I think she is going to be forest. Because if I move on to Elma over here, Elma, as you can see, the blue eyes, but on top of that, look at that blue dragon. There is almost no doubt that Elma is going to be the water element. Comments. 
And so therefore, if Toru is covering the fire element and then we've got Kana for thunder, Elma for the blue water element, then that means that Lukoa being green as well, it's probably likely that she is going to be of the forest element. And so that is going to leave us with old mate Fafnir over here. Now, Fafnir is going to be quite hard to tell because if we look at his appearances and his skills, he is um he is very much like what you would call a dark unit if we had dark. He looks very much like a freaking demon. Actually, they even mentioned that he is a towering dark dragon. However, seeing as they are coming in for a collab, he does have to conform to like the bounds of Alchemy Star's universe. And so just reading through some of this and looking through some of his skills and powers, it's very much a uh, curse. So this one over here, incantations for the curses, he can create very potent curses. And when I think of curses in the Alchemy Star's universe, I very much align them to the forest element. And so it's for this reason that I do believe that Old Mate Fafnir is going to be a forest unit. Now, the next thing that we can talk about is, well, what stars are the rest of them going to be? So we do know that Toru and Kana, they are going to be six stars already. Me personally, I think that Toru and Kana being six stars is very deserving. They are probably like the poster child as well as like one of the fan favorites of the entire genre. Sorry, the entire series, Dragon Maid. And so therefore, moving on to Lukoa as well as Elma, I think that these two are probably going to be the five stars. Obviously, just a guess, it is completely baseless, but like we've got Kana and Toru, I'm hoping that they're probably going to be on separate banners. And then hopefully Elma as well as Lukoa as the five stars, maybe one on each or maybe both of them in both of each of the respective banners. Either that or they're gonna lump them all into one banner. So for example, we're gonna have a Toru and Kana dual six star rate up, and then Lukoa as well as Elma as the five star rate up. In that case, then what about Fafnir, old mate emo boy over here? I actually think that this bad boy, Fafnir, he is going to be a five star welfare. To me, Fafnir being a welfare kind of makes sense because he's kind of the odd one out. He is like old mate, whereas we have these lasses over here. And on top of that, I would wager that the fandoms of each of these characters are probably going to be bigger than Fafnir himself. And so that takes me to the five star guess. And the reason that it's going to be a five star welfare is because all all of our welfare so far has been five stars. However, that is taking like a more historical approach to all of this. There is a pretty okay, like a 50-50, you know what? I'm not gonna put statistics on this. There is a chance. There is a chance that they could start introducing these six star welfare characters that actually have five star stats, something like that. It is not uncommon for games to do this. I still remember, I think like Dragalia or like some of the other games I've played. Maybe it was Epic Seven or something where they like pin something as the highest rarity, usually the call character, like the welfare characters. So I think uh, Fire Emblem Heroes event collab with Dragalia. So Alphonse was like a five star unit, but in reality, his stats was more like a 4.5 star. So I think this could very much happen with Fafnir over here. Six star welfare forest unit, double forest element, and he is going to have the stats of a five star unit. All right. And so with that being said, that is pretty much all of my speculation for all of these characters here. To be honest, pretty straightforward. There wasn't too much guessing, especially Especially when I just saw them and like had a look at their abilities. It was pretty easy to guess the first four, but like Fafnir's was a little bit harder until I saw that he used curses. Now, hopefully like for you guys who don't follow Dragon Maid, that gave you kind of some context around each of these characters. And on the other hand, for you Dragon Maid appreciators or lovers, hopefully that kind of aligned with what you were thinking. If not, let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are, but like that is my guess. And before I wrap this segment up, I do want to pose the question, do you think that Lukoa and Elma are also going to be six stars? Because there are some people that are hoping that we're going to get six, sorry, four six stars. Toru, Kana, Quetzalcoatl aka Lukoa and Elma. I personally think that this is not going to happen. Maybe it could happen. Maybe there are going to be like two banners of two six stars each. Like, oh man, that would be, that would really be hell on the wallet. But anyway, that is all of the speculation out of the way. And so let's start talking about planning for the releases of each of these characters. So my guys, let me introduce you to Clone Lansfield's database, aka the God database for Alchemy Stars. So as always, I will leave a link to this tool down in the comments below. But essentially, if you 
you come to this bad boy over here, alchemystars.cloanlandsfield.com, and then you come over here, you see tools and then planner. What you can do is you can then select a unit and then we can plan around them. So this is just going to tell you like some pre-farming or what you can farm. What are the necessary materials that you're going to need to raise like a certain character to a certain point. And so unfortunately, whilst we can't know the ascension materials of each of these characters, like because they are new, there are things that we can kind of plan for and kind of farm for. So the first of which I would like to direct your attention to is the equipment. So we can go from equipment zero to equipment 10, and that is going to cost 6,500 sublime for each character. On top of that, you can also calculate the EXP for level whatever. So for me, I tend to like to get my characters, my new characters to about ascension three level 20 to 30. And so what this is telling me so far is that I need to actually farm up to 1.5 mil nitium for every single character I want to get up. I think I'm sitting on like 4.5 mil. I hope you guys did farm during the 2X event. That was pretty, pretty lit. And so if I am trying for Toru and Kana, then it's probably going to be looking like 3 mil. However, realistically speaking, I'm probably only going to be able to get one of them, especially with my luck. And so this 1.5 mil is realistically what I'm going to be looking at. On top of that, and uh, let me just zoom in a little bit. You can see that it's going to require 329k EXP. So what you can do is you can just divide this into like those, uh, what are those things called? The Jaspers that we use to level up. And so you can see how much of the Jaspers you actually need. And lastly, we cannot forget about friendship or affinity EXP. And so you guys just need to remember to pick up the independent stuff from the secret territory store. And so realistically speaking, that's probably the extent of all of the farming, the pre-farming that we can do for these characters. Although to be honest, and I did say that like we don't really know like what ascension materials they're going to be using, you could realistically kind of just farm out each of these nodes, right? From the chapter 10 or whatever we have right now. Because at the end of the day, we are going to be using like all of these mats to be able to get the purple mats. So like the blues transform into the purples and then like all of them keep going up. So for example, if you are going all in for Toru like me, then you could just farm like the fire stage, any of the three fire stages and just get a whole bunch of those mats. Even if it turns out that your guess for the purple stuff was wrong, you can just like alchemy it all the way up from like those base materials that you've previously farmed. On the other hand, if you are trying to expect Kana, then you could just do the same for the lightning element, etc, etc. Green, water. So that pretty much sums up like everything that we can possibly do in terms of preparing for each of these characters. I think that's a pretty good strategy. There doesn't seem to be much that I have missed out on. However, if I did miss out on anything, do let me know down in the comments below. And realistically speaking, we're going to move into the secret question part of the video. I want to know how you guys feel about my predictions, my speculation about each of these characters. Honestly, and I think it's pretty dumb to say, but like they're probably all going to be detonators like Fafnir could be a sniper We've got detonator probably a detonator potentially a support here but still probably a detonator but yeah let me know on your thoughts on my speculation if you think I'm right or if you think I'm like completely off the mark and on top of that let me know who you guys are going to go all in for for me again it is going to be Toru and so if you guys do end up leaving your thoughts down in the comments below I would really appreciate that because it means you've made it up until the end of the video but otherwise if you did like this video please consider a like and if you did want to see more of this then please consider a subscribe but otherwise as your girl psych kind of once said all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye